Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Shane Hensley. Uh, he is the he was the CEO of Pinnacle Entertainment Group at one point. I think he still is, and uh, you know he was like really integral in creating the company that makes Savage Worlds. And uh, I recently did a video which said that the title was "How Did We Land in a World Where Savage Worlds Pathfinder Is a Viable Product?" And so I just talked at length about how did we arrive where Savage Worlds Pathfinder is a viable product. The reason why I made that video is I don't think Savage Worlds uh, Pathfinder should be a viable product. It's a copy of a copy, right? Like so, uh, Pathfinder only exists because people didn't like Fourth Edition. So Pathfinder went back, copied 3.5 you know, shaded in a little extra color on a couple of corners and called it a day, right? And then, so Pathfinder was just a copy of 3.5. And then Savage Worlds is saying, is coming along and saying this game that's already a hack of another game, we're going to hack it again. And this time, we're not going to add anything new. We're just going to let you play it in a new rule system. Now, I think that's a waste of time. And the reason why is I think uh, Pinnacle Entertainment Group does some really cool stuff. Uh, and I actually think Paizo, uh, Pathfinder, does some really cool stuff. But when they started this project, this project, without a doubt, will displace other projects for both companies, right? So ba rather than build new worlds, rather than improve their new systems, rather than collaborate and build something fresh and unique and new that is to both companies, they're saying, hey, let's invest artist time, let's invest layout people's time, let's invest writer's time, let's invest manager's time, and, let, and by, when we're all done, you know, the world will be able to play a copy of a copy with a new rule set that is also very old. It's just, it's a, I really think it's a waste of two major players in the TTPRBG industry and it doesn't move the ball forward. It doesn't move the ball forward in innovation, doesn't move the ball forward in representation, doesn't move the ball forward in anything that matters, right? So I think it's a waste of time. So I, I did this video and uh, here's the thing that the, here's what here's what happened that was surprising and why Shane Hensley came over. So my videos usually get between 50 and 150 views. Uh, I'm a small channel. I'm an independent channel, right? And so this video blew up, and it was it was uh, I think it hit over 800 views at one point, and that's when uh, Shane Hensley came over and was like, "Whoa, I gotta I gotta shut this down," right? And so he came in to kind of tamp. I I think his intent was to tamp down the noise and bring clarity from his company's perspective, perspective, which he has every right to do. I think he came over with an honest intent. I think, and, and I think he, what, what I'm gonna, I'll tell you what he said. I think what he said, he, he said it with an honest intent. I don't think he was trying to beguile anyone or, or deceive anyone. I think he actually believed what he said. But what he said, I think is shockingly wrong. Um, and so let's, let's just talk about what he said. So he came over and he said, it's very simple. So he was answering my question, you know, how did we land in this world where, uh, you know, Savage Worlds Pathfinder is a viable product? And he goes, it's very simple. We wanted to make the, 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 the adventure pass playable in, you know, in our players, whatever in, in the rule system that they prefer. It's very, you know, uh, that's all happy gaming folks. And so he wanted, he wanted to come over and, and just say, Hey everybody, it's okay. This is just very simple. We just wanted to make the the adventure pass playable in your preferable rules. Well, here's the thing. That is not remotely correct. And I'm going to say that I think Sean Ensley is very, very wrong in what he just said. Now, he is either... I think the reason... Now, Shane Hensley's a smart guy. He's the CEO of a tabletop role-playing game company. He's created... A, a Savage Worlds has a lot of people who love it. And they've, they've done conversions for Deadlands, Rifts, all kinds of... You know, it's a successful company, right? So how do you how do you arrive where you have somebody who's very smart and has honest intent but is saying something that's very clearly wrong? Well, it's self-awareness. I, I think on this issue, um, he is not self-aware. <laughs> and so, so here's the thing. He's a CEO, right? And this is a new product line that he is launching. There's nothing simple about that, right? He understands what's happening. Like, there's no two ways about it. Shane Hensley is connected to too many people to not understand what's happening in the tabletop role-playing game space today. Right now, Dungeons & Dragons is trying to replace the word race in their game with the word lineage. Like, this is a low-bearing wall, man. Like, this is like this is for all the marbles, right? They are, right now, using, like, Unearthed Arcana and, you know, a few statements 
to to undo work that's been in the in the player's handbook and the DMG, you know, for six years and is still in print in every PHB, right? Like what they you know it is like the undertakings of a lot of tabletop role play and and then other tabletop role playing games they're bringing out new rules new new worlds uh you know real heavy lifts right and the reality is i, I just don't think for a minute that paizo and uh and and peg really should be spending their time investing large amounts of time and effort in my opinion and a, a, not a small amount of resources to make something that is just a shade bit different and really doesn't move the ball forward for anyone, for anyone. It just, it, it's so unnecessary, right? And the entire tabletop role-playing game industry is leaps and bounds behind the board game industry, behind the video game industry, behind the professional sports industry, all the games that it, it support, that it is in comp competition to, right? To sell and to grow and scale in prominence. So the reality is, when he says it's simple, does that mean he ignored representation? He ignored innovation? He ignored what his company uh, can do in the industry and just said, we want to invest time, resources, and accomplish nothing for no one? Or, you know, accomplish, spend significant resources and accomplish virtually, accomplish the smallest minuscule centimeters forward for, margin, for marginal portions of the industry? I really think it's... It's just not, it's it's a waste of time. So when he, so basically he's saying that as a CEO of a tabletop role playing game, when they come and decide what is going to be a new major product line, right, which will spawn additional products, that that's simple. And that's just not true. Not even remotely true, right? It's, it's just, it's wrong. It's flat out wrong. Any CEO who is a tabletop role playing game industry, when you come to a new product line, there's no simplicity there. There is high complexity and there is abstraction, right? And so I, I really appreciate Shane Ansley. Shane, I really appreciate you coming and giving that answer, but I think it's flat out wrong. And I honestly, I would ask you to ask yourself, do you believe what you said? Do you actually believe that a CEO can make a new product line decision simply in today's situation? Like, and if that's the case, I would really challenge you to really think about continuing a single product uh, forward for this. Because I think every TTPRG CEO is called to bigger and better things than this. Like this, like if you're right, then that means we need PBTA, um, uh, you know, we, we can we can now launch, you know, out PBTA My Little Pony, right? And there should uh, definitely be, you know, like uh, Cortex, Shadowrun, and there should definitely, you know, and there should just be lots and lots of efforts where companies, you know, take their product and another, and then take their rule system and another rule systems worlds. And when they're all done, there's nothing new. It's just the ability to play with a different rule set, right? When we have a world that is, that is looking to the TPRG industry for innovation, for representation, for change, for momentum, for progression, not regression. That's my opinion. I'd love to hear yours. Shane, please reconsider. Like, please think again if you truly believe this was simple. All that's, uh, all that's my opinion. I'd love to hear everybody else's opinion on this too. Thank you, uh, and please let me know in the comments below. Please consider liking and subscribing, and have a wonderful millennium.